Hello everyone, my name is Vinny Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Cobweb model. This model is based on time lag between demand and supply. This model is based on time lag between demand and supply. According to this model, demand depends on current year price, but supply depends on previous year price. That means consumer will demand to see the price of current year. But producer will supply to see the price of previous year. That's why demand is function of current year price. D is demand, PT is current year price. But supply is function of previous year price. S is supply, PT minus 1 is previous year price. Coweb model basically divided into three parts. Continuous coweb, divergent coweb and convergent coweb. One by one we will discuss about each. First of all we are going to talk about continuous coweb. In case of continuous co-web, elasticity of demand is equal to elasticity of supply. That means supply and demand will equally respond to change in price. In this diagram, we can see on x-axis we have quantities and y-axis we have prices. DD is demand curve, SS is supply curve. E is our initial equilibrium point and our initial prices are O, P. Now suppose the prices increase from P to P3. And rise in price causes of high supply. As we know, when prices increase, the profit of producer also increase. Eventually, they will increase supply in economy. So, we can say that rise in price causes of high supply. But when supply exceeds the demand, prices fall. Or we can say the high supply causes of fall in price. But low prices causes of fall in supply when prices are very less uh, that means the uh, profit of producer is less eventually they will reduce the supply in economy so we can say that low price causes of fall in supply but low supply causes of rise in price so here you can see there is one cycle rise in price causes of high supply high supply causes of fall in price and uh, low price causes of fall in uh, supply and uh, low supply causes of rise in price there is one cycle in case of a continuous co where this cycle will continuously repeat without growing or sh shrinking but why because in case of continuous co web elasticity of demand is just equal to elasticity of supply that's why this cycle will continuously repeat again and again without growing and shrinking now we are going to talk about divergent co web in case of divergent co web we diverge from our equilibrium point in case of divergent co web we diverge from our equilibrium point we are not able to achieve our equilibrium point we are going far from our equilibrium point but why because in case of divergent co web elasticity of supply is more than the elasticity of demand that's why we are not able to achieve our equilibrium point suppose we start from this point when higher price cause of higher supply then we move here when higher supply cause of uh, reduced price or we can say higher supply cause of uh, low price then we move uh, move here low price uh, reduce uh, supply then we move above low supply cause of higher price then we again rise in price will increase our supply then we move down higher supply cause of low price then we move here eventually we are in this point here you can see our equilibrium point is this but we are here we are very far from our equilibrium point and this will be called a divergent co web where we are not able to achieve our equilibrium point we are very far from our equilibrium point because elasticity of supply is more than the elasticity of demand now we are going to do a convergent co web this is just opposite to divergent co web because here we converge with our equilibrium point, we come close to our equilibrium point. Because here elasticity of demand is more than the elasticity of supply. So we start from this point. When high supply cause of fall in price, then move here, low price reduce supply. Then move above, low supply rise in price. Then move here, rise in price cause to high supply. Then move down, then move here then move above then move here then move here and finally we reach at this point 
here you can see this is our equilibrium point and we are here we are very close to our equilibrium point and this will be called convergent uh, cove wave where we come close to our equilibrium point so this is all about cove wave model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care